This is a simple circuit diagram showing uh, simultaneously the voltage and the current that is applied to a light bulb. So the left is a isolating transformer so that you don't get electrocuted if you happen to touch one of the conductor just for safety reason. In the middle is a voltage divider so that I can monitor the AC voltage on the oscilloscope which is limited from minus 20 to plus 20 volt. And to the right is a small resistor of 1 ohm in series with the light bulb. So the insertion of this 1 ohm resistor should not change too much the current going through the light bulb. The actual implementation of the circuit shown previously and I have to see the transformer, the black, and the light bulb as well as resistors which you cannot see here. And the outputs are shown connected to the oscilloscope and when the light, light is turned on and you can see simultaneously the two sine waves one is the voltage another is the current it's not important to distinguish which is which and they are together and here we have a incandescent light bulb the voltage and the current corresponding to a comp compact fluorescent light can be seen on the oscilloscope. Since the voltage does not change, which is the sine wave, and we can see that the current is not a sine wave. It uh, is very interesting and has very strange shape and does not correspond to that of a capacitor or an inductor. This is the latest acquired LED light bulb. It's rated 60 volts. 60 watt. The corresponding voltage and current. Very, very strange and complicated. Obviously, the sine wave is the voltage.